Happy day, science learners! For this video, we will explore the world of atomic mass and molar mass. I am your science teacher, Teresa May Sanko Bermudez. So for today, for the, our lesson atomic mass and molar mass, we have goals for um, this topic. First is define atomic mass and molar mass. Second, we are going to compute for the molar mass of common elements and compounds. So first, we are going to prepare first, periodic table of elements. Second, you need to prepare also your science journal notebook. Of course, your calculator or scientific calculator. Then the last would be pen. Okay? So, if you are ready with the things that you need to prepare, so let's start our lesson. Okay, now let's define what is atomic mass. So on your screen, let's read together. The mass of one atom of any element in atomic mass units or AMU. Okay, next slide. So example for your atomic mass, if you have your periodic table with you or... Um, periodic table app in your Android phone. So this is now one of the example of an image, for example, oxygen. So in your periodic table, you can find the atomic number, the chemical symbol, the name of that element, and its atomic mass. So our example given here on the screen is oxygen. So, to get the atomic mass or to identify the atomic mass, most of the time, it is located after or under the symbol. So, just like this one, the symbol, the, uh, the name, and the atomic mass. So, what is now the atomic mass of oxygen? Okay, very good. That is 16.00 atomic mass of oxygen. Okay, so now we identified the definition of atomic mass and example of the atomic mass of the given element, which is oxygen. Now, at this slide, we are going to define now what is a molar mass. Okay. So together, we will define what is a molar mass. The mass in grams of one mole of atoms or molecules, or in other words, of elements or a compound. Okay, so on the screen, you can see molar mass of some common elements. So we have here the element carbon, sulfur, and copper. Now we are going to identify the molar mass of these elements. Now, kind of look at your periodic table. Now, let's start with carbon. What is the molar mass of carbon? Okay, very good. That is 12.01 gram per mole. Take note that we are going to use the unit gram per mole since we are um, considering that this is the molar mass of a certain element. Okay, next, how about the element sulfur? Very good. That is 32.07 gram per mole. Now, let's proceed to the next, copper. Okay, that is 63.55 grams per mole. Okay, so therefore, molar mass is the generic term for the mass of one mole of any substance. And it's expressed in grams per mole. Or uh, the unit would be uh, grams per mole. Okay, The same as first gram 
molecular mass, and that is for molecules. And it is the same as gram, formula mass, for ionic compounds. And the same again with gram, atomic mass, for elements. Okay? So molar mass is just a much broader term than these other specific masses. So for our um, lesson, for our grade 9, we'll be using the term or the unit grams per mole. Okay, now, it's now time to uh, compute for the molar mass of a common element and common compounds. So I will be inserting... Um, a video presentation on how to compute the particular element or a compound. And then after the computation, you are going to go back to your LMS course and then you are going to solve uh, at, at least five problems and you have to prepare again the materials for the table of elements, your science journal notebook, pen and paper. Okay, so good luck. Okay, welcome back students. And at this part of the video is, as you can see on the screen, the title is Calculating Molar Mass. And for today, we are going to have this sample problem. Now, the problem is calculate the molar mass for carbon dioxide. Now, for our next slide, take note that we are going to solve this problem. Calculate the molar mass of carbon dioxide. Now, do not forget that we are going to follow the steps. Now, take note of the following steps. First step, you have to write down each element. Now, for our given problem, the elements are carbon and the, sim the symbol is letter C and oxygen and that is letter O. Now for our second step. Identify the number of atoms or atom of each element and for our given problem carbon has one and oxygen we have two atoms of oxygen. Now the third step. You have to multiply the number of the atom of the element by its atomic mass. Now, for carbon, kind of look at your periodic table of elements. The atomic mass of carbon is, okay, that is 12.01 grams per mole. While for the oxygen, that is 16.00 grams per mole. And take note, since carbon has one and oxygen has two, you have to multiply this by its atomic mass. Okay, now, let's continue. Now, since we are done identifying the number of atoms, and after multiplying this with their atomic mass, now, you have to get the sum of carbon and oxygen. So, we have here 12.01 grams per mole plus 32.00 grams per mole. So therefore, the total molar mass for carbon dioxide is 44.01 grams per mole. Now, at this moment, it's now your turn. You have to calculate now the molar mass for each of the following substances. First is the sulfur trioxide. Next is water. Then table sugar. And then the last would be ammonia. The chemical formulas are all given here. So all you have to do is to go back to your LMS course. And all you have to do is to answer the given problem okay, on the screen, of course. And all you have to do is to review the steps. You're going to follow the steps in calculating the molar mass. Then submit your output or your solutions with answer on our elements. And do not forget to use your periodic table of elements, scientific calculator, and your science journal. Okay, enjoy! Bye!